What a difference one day can make. We're going to talk about that today. Hello everyone, semi-retired Bob here. I talk about the carnivore diet, all things related to the carnivore diet, and miscellaneous odds and ends. It is bright and sunny out today. The wind finally died down, but as you can see, or if you saw Tuesday's video, you saw I was out here in just a t-shirt because it was 72 degrees. Today, it's 17 degrees, and I'm out here walking again. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Thanks for stopping by. What you're walking, watching is you're watching me walk. The interesting thing about that is 21 months ago and some change, I couldn't do this. I could barely stand for a couple minutes without severe, without severe pain. And now thanks to the carnivore diet, I'm out here walking every day and doing lots of other things as well. If you're returning to the channel, welcome back. I'm glad you're here as well. It means a lot to me that you choose to spend just a few moments of your day with me. So I'd like to ask everybody's help. Help me get the word out that it's never too late to change your life. I am 60 years old and I'm out here doing things that I couldn't do when I was 40, like walking up and down the street every day. Bob, why are you talking about the weather? This is a carnivore channel. Well, I thought this was a really good illustration of what a difference one day can make. Have you started the carnivore diet yet? Give it one day. Have you started your exercise program yet? Just give it one day. See what can happen. You know, we've, we've gone from 70 plus degrees in a t-shirt to 17 degrees wearing all my winter gear. Now, I'm not as bundled up as I was during the January No Excuses Walking Challenge because there was a wind chill of minus 45 in some of that. Today, there's just a light breeze blowing. It's actually quite pleasant out here considering it's only 17. The wind yesterday was brutal. It started off at like 40 degrees yesterday and it just kept dropping all day long. And then we got a little bit of snow last night. As you can see, there's nothing on the ground behind me, but in the shaded parts, there's just a little, you can see a little bit of snow hanging out like underneath my bush at home. So, you know, if, you're, if, you, ha if you have started carnivore, but you're struggling, let's say you, you know, you fall off the wagon every once in a while, and you're on the verge of having another one of those breakdowns where you go ahead and have whatever it is that you were going to have, just wait one more day. I talk about it a lot, the just 1% better every day, and this, this is the example of what just one day can do, the difference it can bring. I'm not going very far today. I had dance class last night. And it had been a while because there was the break week from dance and then I had the, I was really sick last week. So I'm a little tired today. Not a bad tired, just it's a good tired, but my, my legs hurt a little bit. Because, so oh, I, I'm 60 years old and went to tap dance class last night. Just one more day. Like I said, if you're struggling,
just put off your struggle by hanging in there one more day. If you don't feel like doing your exercises today, push yourself to do your exercises just one more time. That's really the message I had today. I knew it wasn't going to be a long topic, but I also knew this wasn't going to be a long walk because my body's gotten readjusted to the warmer weather and now it's cold again. Did you guys see that ridiculous interview with uh, the CEO of a certain cereal manufacturer talking about, well, because, you know, inflation's so high and people are struggling, you can turn to breakfast cereal for dinner. That's probably the dumbest thing anybody's ever said. Because even if you're not carnivore, for the price of a family-sized box of cereal that it would take to feed a family of four by the time you add in the milk, you could buy a couple pounds of ground beef and a pound or two of potatoes and get much more nutrition. I'm not saying potatoes are good for you, but when times are hard, people got to do what people got to do. Me, I feel very lucky that I'm still managing to save a little money for my off-grid life while still eating nutritious food every day. Basically ground beef and eggs with a little bit of chicken and a little bit of pork roast thrown in. Because in these tough times, we have to do what needs to be done. Am I planning on having oatmeal or anything like that anytime soon? No. But I understand if you have to fill in the gaps with a little bit of other stuff. But that CEO, just absolutely ridiculous. I mean, we won't even get into the nutritional value or the non-nutritional value of cereal for dinner. Just looking at the economics of it, what this guy said made no sense. I'm surprised his board of directors let him go on the air and say stuff like that. It's not going to be good publicity for the company. But just remember, what a difference one day can make in your life. Maybe you're thinking about falling off the wagon. Push it for one more day. Maybe you're not feeling up to doing your exercises or getting out and taking your walk. Push it for one more day. Because I hope this has been a really good example of the difference that one day can make. That's what I've got for you today, folks. Don't forget, get out there, be 1% better. Today, tomorrow, every day. Have a great day, folks. I'll see you in the next one.